contrary, notwithstanding? Is that very clear? So when some judge starts saying, well, that don't count anymore, you also have his oath, don't you? So you go to courts, federal constitution, state constitution, and a, and a standard copy of the oath of, of, of officials, and particularly judges and magistrates, entered into the record. You ask him, did you take an oath to uphold the constitution of this great republic? And if you start talking about, well, the constitution don't apply here, what is he already telling you? No, what is he already telling you? He's telling you he's a foreign infiltrator, he's a foreign agent. He's not a legitimate judge of the United States. And so what you tell him said, oh, excuse me. I knew I was in the wrong place. Can I go home? And clearly, I'm not part of this. Islam. 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 Uh, I don't have a question. I just want to add on to the, uh, Sharif. Uh, the reason why the sheriff, the sheriff is the oldest office that was created under the common law. And as long as we know how to stay in the common law venue with the proper uh, preparation and education, we can deal with it. But considering that we deal with a, a de facto money system, this is why we have state troopers now, which supersede the sheriff or the sharif. Yes, and explain no more. And so the, the, you already know it's counterfeit because people are not allowed to have finance. Now, what it is is that the assumptions the assumption is that you agree to that and that you are part of that construct and therefore you agree to waive constitutional principles. Well, guess what? In the law of contracts, will that stand at law? It cannot stand at law. Law of contract must be substance. Officer, it must offer and it must be substance and an acceptance, am I correct? Then it must be sealed or signed, am I correct? must not be vague, am I correct? It must be mutual, am I correct? If any of those things are violated, the contract can be voided, can it? So can somebody print counterfeit money and then transact business with you to deceive you, and i.e. they represent themselves as government, and then charge you with counterfeiting, therefore you don't agree to the constitutional law that establishes only gold and silver coin can satisfy the debt of the United States? and then charge you with the fraud and then take you into a foreign jurisdiction on paper and hold you to that by law and be valid if you object. I think not. Therefore, whenever you transact business with these aliens, always write UCC 1-207, 1-103 without prejudice. So you never sign, and what we were talking about earlier, nothing. You don't sign anything with them without preserving your rights. All right, let me, let me get back up on this. Uh, I, I, I assume that that's the Internal Revenue Service? All right, so what you want to do, you want to write them written in nature of discovery. And first, a writ in the nature of discovery. All right? And you will list some of these things that you're going to ask those uh, uh, foreigners. You want to ask one, send you the document, certified document of the delegation of authority order issued to them from the Congress of the United States Republic, North America. And you're looking forward to that. You're going to ask next one, relative to whoever's signature is on that instrument that they sent to you, proof of that person's nationality, proof of their political allegiance, and of course a DOAO, Delegation of Authority Order, Ask why they sent in the mail this instrument commanding of you money 
When you have no money. No. <clears throat> when you have no money. And ask them, is their organization foreign or domestic? And ask them to send a copy of the branch of government that issued authority to them and the reference number for the certificate confirmation. Yes. Is your corporation foreign or domestic? Then ask where their registration number can be verified, i.e. their articles of incorporation. You also ask at what juncture did the Constitution establish them? This is back to DOAO, you're being more specific. And this is actually redundant, but these are different questions of really the same thing. Where did the Constitution establish their branch of government? As you didn't notice it, but you need clarification. I didn't ask you that. What you asking them? This is going to be written. Right? And you're going to ask them, what is lawful money? That's a question by itself. Then you're going to give them so many days to respond. How many days would you think would be nice? 30 days? Yes. 10? 10 is nice. That's what they usually do, right? Um, it's fine. Everything, the, the idea, the theme is the same. Then you're going to ask, then you're going to make a statement. That if this writ in the nature of discovery is not satisfied in 10 days, consider the instrument that was sent to you not lawful and attempt an attempt at extortion and misrepresentation. If it is not this, please respond in kind. That is still concluded in that 10 day span. Then ask for the persons who issued this instrument to come forth in written document and prove their claim to authority. And if there is a bill, yes, again, if there is a bill, anyone in your organization or your corporation, I always refer to them as corporation, anyone in your organization or corporation that has any claim to me or with whom I've made a contract of debt or who loaned me anything at any time, please produce that instrument so that I can verify it or dismiss it. Based, based on its validity or lack thereof. Now that's for starters. And you send that to them. And you UCC it also to the uh, Department of State, State Department. Also to the governor of that particular area. Now who sent that to you, Holtzville? What, what district of the IRS? Well, check the district. Check the district. All right, Utah? All right, Utah. Mm -hmm. I it doesn't. No, 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 no. You're talking wrong. Don't talk about they didn't send anything for the last 20 years. Yeah, but I'm just saying, whether they did or not, it's irrelevant. Are you Sears? I didn't ask you that. Are you Sears? You you Sears? Are you Sears and Robot? Oh, oh, you Macy's. You're not Macy's. You know at the Cherry Hill Mall? No. Oh. Did you notice the, the letter that they sent to you? Does it have your name on it? Yes. It does? You have it with you? 
Did you notice how it was written? Oh, you didn't notice it, huh? It's probably in all caps. Oh, you have? Oh, how about revisiting? You got the records? Got the transcripts? Do you have the transcripts?